Hey everyone, this is Ian Norman from the Photon Collective, and today I want to talk about how to make a really quick levitation photograph using Adobe Photoshop. Here's our example photo of Diana uh, floating in the air while she's using her MacBook Pro, and this image was actually made with two different images that were composited together. Um, so, uh, there's the first image, and you can see how she's actually supported. We just used a plastic uh, step stool, and she's just laying on that. And I'm actually supporting the laptop over here on the right side of the frame, uh, and I was triggering the camera with an infrared remote. Um, and we're going to combine this image with this one, which is of just the background. Um, so you can kind of see where we're going here. We're going to put the background behind this image uh, in layers in Photoshop and then we're going to use the mask tool to erase the elements of the photograph that we don't want. Um, so let's go ahead and open up these photos in Photoshop. Um, one quick way to do this from Lightroom is to select both of the photographs that you want and then you can right click and choose edit in and then you can use open as layers in Photoshop and I'll go ahead and do that. And a way to do that directly from Photoshop is to actually go to file scripts and then load files into stack. Um, and then we can go ahead and browse for our files as necessary. So once you select your photos you have them listed in here and uh, one thing that's a little bit useful if your tripod moved at all between the two shots um, you'll want to check this attempt to automatically align source images button. I'll go ahead and just select that and click OK. Okay, so now that we're in Photoshop, we're ready to start editing our photos. Uh, you can see that I have over here in the layers palette, I have two layers. The top one is the image with Diana and the bottom layer, if I turn off the top layer, is of just the background. So the method that we're going to use here uses masks. Um, and masks are a really powerful tool in Photoshop. They allow us to edit the visibility of certain portions of any given layer. Um, and the way that we apply a mask to any given layer is to use the Add Layer Mask button down here on the bottom of the Layers palette. So we have our top layer selected, and then I'm going to click the Add Layer Mask button. And you can see that that added this mask over here. Uh, just to the right of the thumbnail of the layer. Um, the mask is always white by default. So the idea behind a mask is that anywhere we paint on it with a black brush, it will actually erase that portion of the mask. So I'm going to go ahead and use a brush, and we've got black as the color, um, and I have the layer mask selected, and I'm going to go ahead and start erasing my arm out of the right side of the frame. Um, and I'm basically literally just painting painting over it with a black brush um, and that's erasing my arm. So if we actually look at the layer mask itself we can hold down alt or option and click on the layer mask and that gives us a preview of the area that we're actually painting. So anywhere that's black is being transparent is being made transparent rather and anywhere that's white is still showing so we're just going to go ahead and, and I'm going to select the layer here again and then select the mask make sure I'm painting on the mask itself um, and I'm going to go in and kind of just make some really detailed edits here you can still see where my arm is kind of showing uh, near the laptop here and I'm just kind of going in really carefully and painting away where my arm was supporting it the laptop. Um, Alright, so that's looking pretty good there. Um, so I can like toggle on and off uh, just to sort of see what the difference is between the background layer and the foreground layer. You can see there's a little bit of weirdness going on here with the plants, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue to paint on that just a little bit until I think everything looks a little bit more natural. All right, so that looks pretty good so far. Um, so we'll go ahead and continue. We'll come over here and we can start painting out the stool. I'll use a much larger brush. I'm gonna use the 
uh, bracket keys to adjust the size of my brush. And I'm just gonna kind of bulk paint over this entire area. All right. So we're gonna do a little bit more detail. So I'll make my brush smaller with the uh, left bracket. And just go in there and kind of paint that really carefully. And you can see the, the light's a little bit different between our two uh, images here. Um, I could continue to paint, but it would probably keep showing up a little bit more. So I'm actually going to show you um, a little bit of a trick to make edges like that look a little bit better. What I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go ahead and make a selection just using the, the marquee tool. And I'm going to kind of just draw a selection around this area that's a little bit problematic. Um, where we, we can kind of see like my the edge of my brush and w with the layer mask selected in that area we can go ahead and just blur it using a, a regular Gaussian blur um, and if I if I, I preview this while I'm while I'm working I can go ahead and, and sort of see the effect that it has on the mask we just want it to sort of soften up a little bit just so we don't see like a sharp line there it looks like 6.8 pixels is just about right. Um, I'll go ahead and deselect that with con Command D. And if we look at the picture as a whole, it looks pretty good. Uh, we can go ahead and turn Diana on and off just to sort of get an idea of how well she's placed in the, uh, in the scene. And that's just about it. That's how we make a levitation portrait in Adobe Photoshop. So it's relatively simple. We just use two layers and a simple layer mask. Maybe did a little bit of tweaking to the mask to get it to look just right. But overall, this is a pretty easy photograph to make. Once again, I'm Ian Norman with the Photon Collective. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe and check out all of our tutorials, gear reviews, and inspiration on photoncollective.com. See ya.